And now a few words about perspective here on the Silver 5150 channel. It is probably the rawest stacking channel on the air, and we talk about some far out stuff. Um, but I want to give uh, my thoughts on some perspective for people. Um, a lot of talk about YouTube on YouTube, about how political they've become and how they try to cherry pick and select videos and stuff like that. And I mean, you can argue that a lot of things have gone political in the last few years, but I can tell you this. It's just politics. I dove deep into the whole political thing, you know, for about 10 years, just studied it inside and out, you know, heard what the right was talking about, heard what the left was talking about and stuff. But in the end, here we are to where this good stuff here, uh, silver and gold and other precious metals are going to come out and they're going to clear the air about everything they're talking about. When it comes to YouTube, to me, I see the glasses half full because YouTube is just, I'm sorry, its value way outweighs any kind of misgivings or complaints people have about it. Um, it allows you to go on, and if you're good enough to extrapolate the good quality information from it or entertainment from it, I mean, you can't lose. You can't lose. It doesn't really cost you anything to watch YouTube. Um, you just have to do a little research. You have to know a little bit so you don't wind up getting into some bad stuff if there's some on there but the thing is youtube provides an avenue and a conduit for regular people like myself and a lot of other regular stackers out there like silver torch 66 shadow stack stacking through the center silver slayer who <laughs> silver slayer man his ability to post it just blows me away the guy really puts out good quality stuff does a lot of research he is living the life and he's doing a lot of hard work for for us here in the stacking community and for people who are going to stack in the future or, you know, who just come out of the shadows later and stuff. All these guys put in a lot of, uh, put in a lot of work and stuff. And, you know, for me, the avenue is YouTube. I mean, I know there's DTube, I know there's Patreon and all that stuff, and that's cool. You know, it's cool. But, you know, YouTube, man, it just, it provides, you know, such a release for, for people that, you know, maybe don't have a lot of money or, you know, just need to be entertained all the time. I think I'm a bit of a, an attention baby and I like to be entertained all the time and YouTube certainly provides me with that but here you know I'm taking a sleep out into the stacking video community and I'm gonna see what happens with it and I'm gonna share my stack with you and I'm sorry I just see nothing but good things you know the perspective it reminds me of you know like this one joke that a stand-up comedian told about being on an airplane it wasn't a joke it was a real story how he had sat on a plane with a guy, and the guy got really irritated on the tarmac because they didn't have the Wi-Fi going. And the comedian's like, so let me get this straight. You're about to go up in the sky, 40,000 feet, at 600 miles an hour, sitting in a chair in the sky, going over the Rocky Mountains, and life sucks because you don't have Wi-Fi, you know, on the, on the plane. It's like, take a take a stagecoach across the Rocky Mountains, you know, once, and then complain about flying over them. See, that's my point. It's like YouTube, it, it just, it is such an incredible achievement to be able to reach people in the globe, and especially those of like mine or the same interest, and just kind of, you know, get together, man, and put stuff out there and try to talk each other through stuff and help each other out with stuff. And, um, you know, I think that needs to be understood. Yes, they are political, but, I mean... There are people, and people are political. People, you know, there are issues and stuff they care about, and so they're going to, you know, try to express or, you know, um, convey that message however they can. It's their, their, you know, website. They can kind of do whatever they want. They have limits. I understand that. But in the end, you know, leave it up to you. You take responsibility for the content you run into. If you're a channel that's being, you know, um, that's being, you know, uh, having limits placed on you by them for a number of reasons, then go ahead and address that. But for, you know, for the most part, YouTube is not a bad thing. It's just that there, you know, may be some people that are using it for things other than its full potential. And that's just the way it is. But here we've got the uh, Tombstone Kilo Coin, uh, <laughs> Kilo Bar, which I love to death. And this thing, it's just heavy as all get out. If you were ever to imagine there would be a zombie apocalypse, well, actually, it'd have to be vampires because they're allergic to silver. I hey, smack a vampire across the head with this, and pretty much the fight's over. No UFC title for him. So, Tombstone, Silver Nugget Man. Oh, my gravy, this thing. And, of course, it's heavy as some of the earlier things I posted 
um, or heavier and uh, just a great seal i love that scottsdale mint seal on there scottsdale makes these you can still get these for around 600 i think um and if you can't do anything fancy and you're looking for a kilo this is about as unfancy as it gets in fact it's so unfancy it's quite fancy look at that rich nugget finish and by the way that's manufactured you know you you think they pulled this right out of a cave but it's actually manufactured this way to give it that authentic look and feel. Can you imagine being a prospector back in the day? You and your donkey running around. And you come up on a few of these. Of course, they're not stamped. But man, you'd be able to live for, oh my gosh, probably two years. You know, with a with a handful of these. You know, four or five of these um, back then. But now, we can go online, click for them, and get them. You know, for, I think, a fraction of the cost in terms of inflation. On any of the great websites out there, which I'll divulge later. But anyway, just some words in perspective, and, you know, YouTube, yeah, it could be better, but it's really good right now, and uh, good for people like us that just want to come out and share our stacks with one another. Take care.